Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Joanne Dimbuang. The government has set aside 27 billion ringgit in the recently announced mini-budget to finance various subsidies. Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak says this is to ensure that Malaysians will not be overly burdened during this troubled period. He says an additional 830 million ringgit was set aside for many social safety net pr programs. While the government has not lowered the percentage for personal tax, other forms of assistance has been put in place for the people. Najib says corporate bodies will enjoy tax relief worth 1.5 billion ringgit as announced in the mini budget, and this is aimed at spurring more activities to boost the economy. He told reporters this after launching the Inland Revenue Board's electronic services on Thursday. The Sarawak National Party SNAP will stay out of the April 7th by-election in Batang Ai, its former stronghold. Party President Edwin Dundang says this is to pave the way for Party Keadilan Rakyat's one-to-one -one fight with the Barisa National. He says the party's veterans in Lubok Antu are be backing PKR, which is expected to announce its candidate on Sunday. The by-election was called following the death of Assemblyman Datu Dublin Unting Ingot. There have been 12,179 dengue cases this year, leading to 33 deaths, a significant 48.7% increase compared with the number of deaths in the same period last year. Health Minister Datu Sri Liao Tiong Lai says there were only 8,212 cases with 14 deaths from the January 1st to March 16th last year. He also says dengue cases in Perak have also shown a rise with 1,068 cases reported compared with last year's 946 cases from January 1st to March 16th. He says the state had the second highest number of reported cases after Slango. He stressed that the public should be more aware of the disease and seek immediate treatment at hospitals should any symptoms start to show. A report on the proposed setting up of a separate scheme under the Employees' Provident Fund to pay out pension to private sector workers will be ready in four months. Human Resources Minister Dato S. Subramaniam says the report, which would be forwarded to the Finance Ministry, would propose the scheme be made compulsory only for new workers. Subramaniam says the Ministry has started on discussions with the Economic Planning Unit, the Finance Ministry and the EP on the matter. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Joanne Timbong. Thanks for watching.